very similar to a wrestling double leg takedown. But again, uh, you know, the, you, have, you have throws, you have takedowns, and you have transitions. And this kind of could be all three. You could get points for the throw, you're taking to the ground, certainly, but you're also finishing in, in, a, in a nice pitting movement here. I'm going to do, in wrestling, we call it turning the corner. So instead of going for more of the straightforward here, I'm going to kind of come back and I'm going to do a little bit more of a lunge so that I can come in and get this guy off to the side and actually cut that corner with him. So we've done this. It's very similar to the one that we do whenever we're on our knees. Same thing, we're just on our feet now. So just like the one we just did, we give him a little bit of a pop up. Now this one, instead of just going one big step in and then here, I, for me that's very awkward. It's something you guys can play around with. You might like it. Some of you guys with older knees, it might be easier for you. For me, even with my bad knees, I think it's easier to go ahead, pop up, get that full sweep in. So I'm not quite penetrating yet, but I'm just going to step at the top of the triangle, come down here. Let that foot come up. Hand placement's still the same, but then when I come up, it'll be more to the side. Head is still going to be in his hip, and instead of going straight back, now I'm going to be chopping this leg as I'm kind of lifting this leg up. So, I get that pop, top of the triangle here, lunge step, get this foot in position so I've got my driving force. Head is also going to help me drive. Come up, and I can follow down for the pin. Pop up, top of the triangle, lunge step. Get leg into the side so you can drive, head into the side so you can drive, and take to the side. She really wants to get him on the ground. Her, her point is to transition from standing to the ground, and that's what she's doing here. So she wants to end up in a pinning situation. She may recover some and pins it with Munigatami in this particular case. He's mm -hmm. And the, tra the transition to the pin almost starts as we're going down. So you'll feel it. Once you feel he's off balance, he's not recovering, that's when I go ahead, let this arm go from the leg, and I start climbing up the torso and get to my pin. And notice that to the side. Okay. And what it does, it really gets some good air time on him. But he hits pretty hard too. Yeah. And it puts you in a position to pin immediately. 